episode 846 of Tales from West Gatineau, Maine. Today, we're at the South Solon Meeting House in Solon, Maine. It's a beautiful place, built in 1842. And in the 1950s, it was rehabbed a bit and redecorated. A local art and sculpture school got together and they put frescoes on the walls and the ceiling of this beautiful old facility. It looks much like a church and has been used for church services from time to time. Which reminded me of a story back along a brand new minister in a rural area of Maine showed up for his first opportunity to preach a sermon in a brand new church. Well, he showed up and he waited and one old family showed up. No one else. Well, he stepped down from the rostrum and he walked back and said to the family, excuse me, sir, but uh, this being my first day and all, and you my only congregant, I'm just curious, uh, do you want me to go ahead with the, with the sermon? Well, the farmer said, I'm just a simple farmer, but I'll tell you something. If I get down the back forty to feed my cows and only one shows up, I still feed her. Well, he saw that as encouragement. He bounded back up behind the rostrum and launched into one of his most fiery efforts, fire and brimstone. An hour and a half later, he finally relented, stopped, gave a final prayer, rushed to the back door to meet the congregant as he was leaving. And as the farmer walked back and shook hands with him, the pastor said, Sir, I'm just curious, my first sermon and all, what do you think of the job I did? Farmer says, well, he said, I'm, I'm just a simple farmer. And if I uh, go down back in the back 40 to feed my cows, and only one shows up, I, I still feed her. <laughs> but I don't give her the whole load. <laughs> hey, stay separated, keep your distance, but be kind to each other. We need it, we're almost there. Yeah? Welcome to day 47 of Tales from West Gardner, Maine. Well, the Maine weather is cooperating on May 9th, Saturday morning. I'm telling you right now, it's cooperating if you want to go cross-country skiing, make a snowman, or just go crazy. Anyway, it got me to thinking. My brother-in-law, Bruce, Bruce Gamage, smart and a whip, that fella. Anyway, he was explaining to me how to stay safe in winter driving conditions. Not that we're going to have that today, but uh, whiteout conditions are critical to pay attention. He said the only way to stay safe in whiteout conditions is to get right behind one of them big orange state trucks that's plowing snow and dropping sand. It's got them being flashing red and orange lights on it. Can't miss them. Well, he said, you get right behind it. He said, I did a couple of years ago. He's going to get right, one, right behind one of them trucks. Them flashing lights are right there, and every time that truck turned, I turned. Every time it slowed down, I slowed down, sped up. I mean, I was right with it. Never missed a beat. After two hours, fella finally stopped right in the middle of the road, got out of his truck, walked back, wrapped up the window. I put the window down. I said, what is it, sir? He said, well, I just want you to know that uh, I know you've been following me for a couple hours, and I didn't want you to be surprised. I'm all done plowing the wall out now. Now I'm going to move the K-Mac. Just want to let you know, hey, stay safe, stay separate, and be kind to each other, just like Bruce would be. Yeah, I'm going skiing. <laughs>